I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. What is happening Ooh, with this show? Yeah. What is happening with this show, guys? <laughs> it's, it's Wednesday! <laughs> Which means you're hanging out with us at the Married at First Sight After Show on After Buzz TV. It also means you just logged through another two hours of uh, couples who just can't get it together. What is up, my friends? We love you guys yeah. so much. My name is Mike Thieling. We're here. We're going to go through it. You know what it is. You know how we do. First, I want to introduce my panel. I am over here by myself <laughs> on the Team Married side, but to my left, also representing Team Married and also soon to be the newest member of Team Single <laughs> inside your belly is TK. Oh, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, she's like, what? The, are you telling me that? At I don't some know. point, she, at some point, baby will be the newest member of Team okay. Single. Baby, baby will be the uh, the new Team Single. Um, you completely threw me off. I thought with that. I, that's, I came up with that earlier today. I was Dang. excited about it. Okay. Well, for her lifetime, Daddy says she's probably going to be team single for the rest of her life. Uncle Mike says that as well. Yes. Team single forever. But what's up, guys? I'm ready to talk about this episode, though. But who's Ooh, not yes. going to be team single forever, but we're lucky to have her opinion as a single woman while we have it. Let me show. Yes. All the single ladies, let's go. We're up in here in the IG Live, ready to take your phone calls. Everybody keep putting in the comments where you would take Lanisha out on a first date. Ooh. <laughs> and maybe it. at the end of the season, she will pick one lucky winner. <laughs> what is this, Love is Blind? What is this? Maybe it is. I mean, we do Love is Blind too. I, we do all of it here. Guys, you know how we do this show. We're going to run through all the couples, two of them extremely quickly, three of them not so much. We're going to talk about what happened this episode. We are going to be taking the calls live. So uh, if you guys remember last week, we said we were going to do live calls this week. We're going to do it again next week. So if you're watching us, we're going to tell you when to do it live if you can't make it with us this show. And yes. then, of course, we're going to have our special segment at the end where we rate our couples. But let's get it going. Lanisha, overall, what did we think of tonight's episode? Oh my gosh, crazy as heck. And I think it's I think it's a little bit funny to me how we saw all these disaster couples and then we have this one cute couple that has nothing, no problems. One and a half. La 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 la. I would be like them. I wouldn't want to say anything either because I'm just like, y'all is miserable. TK. You know what? I, I'm i happy for them and we'll talk about Jessica and Austin. But overall, I just cannot wait until next episode because it's like, okay, that's when stuff really hits the fan. Um, but I'm I'm interested to talk about Mika and Michael today because I'm yes. so sure people are going to have some opinions and I love it. I'm ready for it. I loved, <laughs> I loved the juxtaposition this episode. Everybody's clawing at each other's throats and then <laughs> Jessica and Austin are baking cookies. It's like, it's literally, ridiculous. Like it's literally. ridiculous. You couldn't write it. Let's just start right off with them. I mean, okay, they're embarrassed to tell the other couples how good it's going for them mm -hmm. because they know yeah. No one else is really having a great time, except for Katie and Derek. But they know, Austin and Jessica know that they are just better than everybody else. It's so easy. They make cookies with a new recipe. Whoa, a lot of drama in that, of course. <laughs> and then they do the big spinny wheel thing where they do sexy yes. stuff. And Austin does his awkward lap dance. And that's about it. I mean, we start with them because they're kind of the most boring because they're just doing so great. Yeah. So they're literally, the producers have no drama edit in. So what do you say about them? I mean, I love the sexy dance. I mean, hey. that was pretty sexy to me. Would you guys do it? Do what? The the wheel, the dance. Yeah. Been there, done that, darling. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> A couple times. Excuse me. A couple times. Wow. <laughs> no, She's a wild like, one over here. <laughs> actually, I'm a married one, and we can do that. That's right. That That's right. So is Jessica and Austin. Yeah. So is Jessica and Austin. I think, uh, for me, the one thing <laughs> I just want to say about Jessica and Austin is that I kind of wish they would have don't you know not been so ashamed to be happy because first of all, people need to see that. Like mm -hmm. people need to see that there's uh, that marriage can actually be a happy place. Um, but also, they could have went further to say instead of like like gloating and rubbing it in people's faces, they could say, you know what, we are, one, a little lucky that it turned out so great. Two, we're so happy because of these are the things that we're trying. Mm -hmm. Like, giving them I a little tidbit. Like, no. mm -hmm. giving them, like, no. why? What? Because 
because they and I'm going to put Katie and Derek in there too because I think Katie and Derek are fine. I think the little tiny bit of drama from Katie's really? side is a little bit manufactured, a little bit overplayed. Regardless, they have something that the other couples don't. They fundamentally like each other. It's just Who? the Jessica and Austin. Yeah, they oh, like yeah. each other. They're attracted to each other. So no, no matter how much like you know, guys yeah. were really trying to talk to each other and blah blah. No, no, no. The other couples don't the like luck. each other. But that's the luck part <laughs> okay, that they I'm hate talking each about. Other. Like that's the that's the luck part I'm talking right. about. But I don't when, think like, any of the couples are going to gain anything positive from them uh, saying this is what we're kind of doing. Yeah, at a yeah. base level, the other ones don't like each they're other. Gonna be this is not going to work. Jealous. Yeah, but they're not trying. That's the thing. Like sure. they can't get past that initial very important <laughs> piece of not being injected to one right. another but uh, but yeah that's all I had to say with uh, about them I get it it made, it made sense to me you don't want to rub it in people's faces especially I mean if people are feeling down that'll just make them feel that much worse like oh I mean I but I can't relish in your negativity like no yeah so but mm. eventually they're just gonna stop going to breakfast with all these people and just Bye. have like their nice fun time Bye. off by themselves Go, just skip right to Katie and Derek then because you guys disagree with me that they're pretty hunky dory they do the normal stuff they she talks about kind of getting over it they play sexy Jenga I do really like their Jenga um I think I appreciate the fact that the last uh, the last episode was really about him feeling like he can't really get there and her feeling like she can't really let her guard down. Like, there mm-hmm. was kind of like this mm-hmm. circle. And while she does need to obviously stop thinking about her ex, first and foremost. <laughs> yes. Um, the it's good second, that he didn't make an appearance this episode. Right. I really wish he would. I'm curious. I need yes. to. But <laughs> I need him to come. <laughs> I, I appreciate that he... People. That he is asking her, like, what can, what can I do? Yeah. And she's like, okay, manhandle me, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay. It's, and he's following through with it. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to make you love me. Yeah. And, can, you know, those kind of things I feel like are going to kind of help him get to love her. Yeah. So uh, he's trying, and I appreciate the try. But do I think mm. the drama is over? Absolutely not. No. And mm. I talked about this also with my roommates before. Like, oh. there's such thing as love language, and we were just talking about, like what is yeah. everybody's uh, what is everybody's love language and I like how this one kind of forced them to say this is what I like th- I want you to grab me I want you to do this because that's how Katie is yeah, brutality yeah. some this people are crazy. not like that okay some people yeah. are like don't touch me right there like <laughs> you know <laughs> I need you to be soft with me so I do like um this game with them and I think yeah it, it will help them communicate better to me, the fact that they didn't talk about any of the past drama this episode mm-hmm. reinforced to me that there really isn't anything there. They're just two brand like new the people. X thing or the I mean the ex thing is kind of there to me, I guess, but more so his, the whole issue for her mm. of him not being able to get there. Oh, okay. yeah. To me, the I don't think it's a di- they're yeah. they're basically still strangers. They've yeah, been yeah. together twenty five days. So yeah. to me, I feel like that's overblown. If she's not actually getting over the ex, that's a completely different thing. But again, I think I think for at least these yeah. two couples, they are stretching for something well, to talk that's about. That's all on yeah. Katie. That's all on Katie. And I feel sure. like it went better this week because she wasn't pressuring him of saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Right. Lanisha, who do we love? Love, oh love. God. We love them, love them, you love them. You already know we love you guys, the fans. Thank you guys so much for making us the ESPN of TV Talk. We are to actually doing call-ins today. I put it already in the IG, but I'm going to save it out loud as well. The number you guys could call is 424 35 354-8302. Again, you guys can call 424-354-8302. We are taking in your calls, and we would love to hear your comments that you guys keep on writing because some of you guys agree with us and some of you don't. I love it. <laughs> we love it, and we love you guys. So also feel free to hit the subscribe button, and if you're listening on iTunes, give us a five star. For, for some reason, one through four just doesn't work. So it's a, it's they're like, broken. They're broken. <laughs> you know. Apple will fix it one day. Apple one will day. fix it one day. Oh, one day. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So team well, single, let's, I I mean, do, before we go on, I do want to shout out to some of those who are joining us. So I do. we do have a couple of people let's on do IG it. Live. Yes, do. Uh, shout out to Canada Pup Lover. Hi, haven't talked to you in so long. Uh, <laughs> we have Sydney Williams. I am Sydney Williams. Oh, my gosh. That's my. I wonder who that is. <laughs> Hello, peeps. Ollie Wooda. We have 
Elgin. Elgin. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to you guys. Call in. We're talking about, obviously, the last two couples, three couples, whatever. Right, call I in if you Sydney. have Call in especially if your name is Sydney. Thank you. Yes. yes. Let's, <laughs> let's start right off the bat with Mindy and Zach. Because for as much as we dislike Zach, hmm. at least he's pleasant-ish. And he's <gasps> not mean and rude. Mike is reaching. He's just okay. not attracted to his wife. I mean, compared to the other two, he's not. Uh, yeah. Basically, Mindy says Mika and Michael are cold to each other. That's rich coming <laughs> from them, right? Okay, so of course... This entire episode, let's we get through the other two couples really quick because they're beautiful and, and we love them and it's no big deal. Yeah. The couples go and they do that cooking class together where they start gossiping and whatever, except oh. of course Taylor and Brandon. Man. And then for our three problem couples, Dr. Pepper comes along and does her little uh, visit and tries to patch stuff up. It, to me, they really force these relationships more than they need to, but of course it's it's for the show, right? So Dr. Pepper goes. Because she feels like they might be in trouble. Uh huh. <laughs> Evidently, I could be a, a certified say. therapist now as well because I saw that as well. And uh, she's nervous, blah, blah, blah. She, and Dr. Pepper really just gives it to Zach about not living there. That's the big, mm, big thing about yeah. them, right? And uh, he ends by saying he will strongly consider it. And then we end the episode with some really awkward, tantric, breathing, sitting mm. thing exercise. Huh. Ugh. Do we have any hope at all for this couple? 100% no. 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 And I got a comment no. from Cindy Williams who says, Zach, Zach is attracted to Zach. I find him unattractive. <laughs> Mindy, pack your knives and go, girl. Zach has the need to bring someone down to build himself up. Mm. Mm. Yes. Great comment. Yeah. I think, um, obviously, Dr. Pepper, she was so concerned. She picked up his facade when she first met him. Mm. She picked up that he was right. the Instagram guy. Yes. Um, and she before was Before they like, match people. Before they even match people. And so she's yeah. like, okay, one thing that's on my radar is you're not going to be like, there's a possibility you're not going to be attracted to the person we match you with. Right. Yeah. The fact that she even brings that up, it was like, this was a concern for me and you told yeah. me you would try and you're mm. not trying. Mm -hmm. If, like, for me, it's so hard because I know we talked about this, but for women, we can maybe get there a little bit over time. Mm -hmm. And for guys, this is a stereotype, it's a stereotype, obviously. Yep. Mm -hmm. For guys, it can kind of be a little bit harder. So people are like swaying on Zach's side because of this. I understand, but Dr. Pepper really wasn't pushing for their relationship, if you think about it. Like, she was pushing for Brandon, and I know we'll talk about that, but she was like, you know what, if you're over it, you should just leave. <laughs> I, so, for Zach, I think still, obviously, Zach is not attracted to her. He, he has this circular logic he talks about, about building and learning attraction, or some junk, I don't even know what he's talking about, and he gives it to Dr. Pepper, like, so if I live here, you're saying that will scientifically allow me to oh build a track. It's To me, Man. I think he's way smarter than he's trying to pretend. 100%. And he knows he's unattracted to her. He's just waiting to get off the show. I think, I think truly, actually, maybe a hot take, I think he's probably a decent guy. I think he's probably mm -hmm. a decent, nice person. And he's like, look, I'm not attracted to her, but I don't want to be rude and mean about it. So let's get through this experiment. I'm going to mm -hmm. try to get through as nice as possible by doing this circular logic. I'll try oh, to less. really rationalize mm -hmm. it out. And I think that's just kind of the corner he's painted himself into. I think he does, mm -hmm. just doesn't want to come off the show like that. I think he just doesn't want to be the villain looking. Sh that's why he stayed, because he's like, oh, man, if I quit now, I'm going like to look like a butthole. So let me stay. And let me at yeah. least try to do some fun things with her so I can look sure. like I'm doing That's good. That's completely possible, decent. too. That's possible, too. And then if I'm not in the house, maybe I get filmed less. So mm. there's less camera time. So I look like less of a jerk, like out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Right. Like it's almost... I, I think it's a little bit of both. Can he be a great guy? Absolutely, but that great guy mm. will still be stare, uh, will still be uh, superficial. Oh, I think he'll be a great so. guy to somebody he's attracted to. Superficial, yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> superficial, but like we just talked about, it's yeah. kind of the 
basis of a lot of relationships. Yeah. I mean, of it's all relationships, you got to be attracted to your you partner. You got to be at least somewhat attracted yeah. to the person. Yeah, That's so, fair. Yeah. Um, let me toss it out there real quick before we go to the final two. The, just the, they're, whatever. <laughs> they're in the trash can anyway. Um, <laughs> we know they are because we broke the news. They're already annulled, so who yeah. cares? But it, what should Zach do? If we give him the complete benefit of the doubt, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we've had a lot of stuff go back and forth. Guys, tell us, of course, in the comments what you guys think. We've seen different reports on straight up production wise production side if they're allowed to actually quit if there's penalties for quitting or things like that i've mm-hmm. seen rumors and stuff go around mm-hmm. so let's give him the best benefit of the doubt let's say they can't quit the show or else they don't get any money or anything they're not compensated or something like or there's a penalty okay. and let's mm-hmm. also say he's straight up just a nice guy but he's not attracted to her what should he do? What was he not doing now that he could do to, to be better? I feel like he should have done what Brandon did. Should have just quit. But Brandon quit. quit. I'm saying, okay, and just forfeit whatever. Just for It's not working. It's not working. I mean, and at this point, you're wasting her time. Is it meaner to stick it out and, and whatever than to just pull the ripcord? I think so because yeah. she's just, she has this hope that it's going to work. Very and much you're so. just yeah. kind of like lingering her yes. on. It's going to hurt either way, but at least. Here, it's just like, rip yeah. a Band-Aid off, cut it off. Yeah. But this is just, it's too long. And if you're and if you are not choosing to quit, let's yeah. just, like you said, we're only going based on, for this example, the money. Like, let's just say Hypothetic, money. Yeah. Hypothetically, money is involved. Then you are kind of still, your character is up for judgment because you're thinking, okay, what's more important? Is it the love and the marriage, my want for marriage and her feelings Mm. or the money? So either way, if you're staying to think, well, I don't get paid, then... it's either either way you're kind of weighing what's important. So if you don't get paid and you're just trying to stay to he's not trying to make it work, so we can't use that. But I'm eager to see what you have to I say. I agree 100%. Well, so I got two things real quick. What I was going to say is I go back to what I always say they should do. What I think is just go, look, it's not working. Can Give we me someone else. can we do not even someone else, but can she and I go through something so we can learn about each, ourselves and what we actually should be in a relationship, mm. or like do a friend thing and we'll do we'll do little activities or something like that? Let me toss it really quick back to you because the last two couples are probably the most interesting to talk about. Mm-hmm. What if I change the hypothetical and if he quits, she doesn't get paid either. So he oh. really ruins her over if he leaves the show and he knows that. Does that change what you think? No. Not really because okay. she's still going to be miserable with or without that money. Cause yeah. better, better with the cash. It's better yeah. with the cash. Okay. Hey guys. You guys want- hey, hey. Jonathan, uh, Jonathan producer Jonathan. Hey, yeah. uh, so I'm trying my best to do some really on the fly research for like married at first sight. Thank stuff. you. Yeah. Um, I know you guys are talking a little bit about them like getting paid. Uh, I, I kind of run across a question up here that says, "What do the gu- couples get paid?" Um, this might not be for this show specifically, but mm. it looks like they don't get paid much for the it's show. It's not a lot. They gotta get compensated. Reality something. TV. They, I'm sure they get paid. Yeah, like a normal, maybe like ten yeah. grand or something like that. But, right. Um, like it's I'm, almost I'm like, is it worth there. it? Exactly. Okay, is it enough for that mental fair health? And then like... just to just to randomly put it in your head there, uh, again, uh, the post that I'm looking at, I don't know where it's truly coming from, but it is married at first sight, mm-hmm. and it looks like there's upwards of like seventeen thousand people that audition for the show. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, well, seventeen thousand. You got to think about all the people, single people, all the people that just like Dr. Pepper <laughs> said. I feel like they have a pretty good pool of people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like Dr. Pepper said there's so many people that like what a waste yeah, let's like, let's talk about a couple more waste we yeah. don't want to run out of time if anybody's calling give us a call give us a shout uh, Four, from Lanisha's IG phone number one more time 424-354-8302 okay I'm going to talk about <laughs> Mika and Michael because technically they're still together yes <laughs> okay. technically so, they are so again <laughs> From right off the bat, I, I can't wait to... They're probably the most interesting to talk about because I flip-flop over who I feel like I want to support. Mm-hmm. Michael says he's not getting what he needs. He wants... This is his word of the day or word of the episode for sure. She needs to be more vulnerable. I don't think that word vulnerable. means what he thinks it means for sure. It does not mean what he thinks it means. Uh, he gets... He storms out. They're talking. He's frustrated with her hand motions and all this kind of stuff. Then we get into the real juice mm-hmm. of it, right? He invites her to this yoga class, 
that he's teaching or the, the studio he teaches at. She shows up. The staff is like, what are you talking about? There's Oof. no Michael that teaches here. The only Michael here cleans the rooms. And mm. then Dr. Pepper Oof. comes in. Uh, she uh, he she gets him to admit that he has lied about some stuff. Blah blah blah. Uh, they had that awkward sushi thing where he t- you know, but and then and then they play the blind trust game. Blah. Okay, what do we think about Michael lying? Okay, when Michael lying, I, I don't agree with that at all because you know without trust is there is no relationship right at all. I'm the type to be like I don't trust you. Yeah. Period. Nah, <laughs> this ain't shut gonna down. work. I shut it down. Like if I know that you're a liar, that, like guys. I'm gonna automatically think like, oh, no, nah, I, I mean, can't I think trust you now. That's human nature. Like every nobody likes to be lied to, right? But I do find it interesting that he admitted. Okay, I, I'm playing devil, devil's advocate. I'm not go. backing up my course whatsoever. <laughs> but he, they're both wrong. <laughs> when he he's always said I'm not close to you I'm, I, I don't open up to you I like I you are a stranger but when he gets into a comfortable state where he is communicating with someone who actually freaking knows how to communicate mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, i.e. Dr. Pepper he does let his guard down and he does like okay yeah I lied yes <laughs> some of the like this is what my job is like he starts to and then he gives reads like he he's able to put his feelings into words just like when he stepped out um and you know took time or whatever yes he mika is true in that he should have been like like i need some time i need to leave mm. but when he was able to come back and things were settled that's when he was actually putting his thoughts his his feelings into words mm-hmm. and it was actually productive so i'm going to give him kudos a little bit for that um because i want to believe that if he felt comfortable, you maybe would he would honest? communicate. He would maybe be, be a little bit more honest, and he mm-hmm. would communicate better. It does not justify him lying, obviously. Right. But I saw a little bit of a break there. Little progress. Little I, progress. Yes. I could kind of hop off of that because there was times where, like, she saw his house and everything, and she was just judging him from the bat. Like, she's she's a judger. We, we she could is. say that. She, she judges is. him a lot. Gosh. So... I don't know how, again, I'm not backing up line either, but I see how he would feel uncomfortable saying he's a janitor. 100%. To, to okay. Mika, you know? Okay, okay, okay. And here is Hang the, on. Let's, it's a lot. Let me rewind a little bit, because I'd like to go back to where all of the kind of friction began. And for this couple, to me, it was when they got to Panama and he said they needed to have sex before and then wouldn't admit it on camera. So that to me was like Mm. the genesis of the lying. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. okay. And I don't know how you rationalize. He wants her to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think that he doesn't understand, I think, exactly what that means. I think Mm. to him it means... He wants her to share her feelings. No, she right? shares her feelings enough. I think he wants her to be softer. Because yeah. what she does, what, what Mika what's does, she... vulnerability Well, is... I think in his mind, vulnerability is what you just yeah. said. I think in his mind, vulnerable is I want you to be soft. I want you to be a little bit more open okay. to to hearing me. Yeah. I got you 100%. Mika talks but at look him. at what Lanisha just said. As soon as someone lies to her, she shuts it down. Like, that's it. 100%. And he yeah. lied right off the bat. So I She's feel like angry. the onus is completely on him. And now we have a cascade of lies. And here's the mm. thing that I do not understand. These are not good lies. They're not interesting <laughs> lies. They're not They're not lies that... The miles on your car. The miles on your car. <laughs> the, none of the things that we've seen him lie about or that it's been, you know... Uh, stated that he's lied about or alluded to or whatever you want to say are epic or interesting to me at all. Yeah, uh, Like they, I said, uh, I would tell a stranger mm-hmm. that, oh, I was going to be a principal, but they kind of changed my contract around. That's yeah. just a normal conversation with somebody. That's not some, I really need to trust you to let you know that the place that was going to hire me yeah. decided to mess with my contract. Yeah. You, you don't need to... Uh, 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 the, the yoga thing <laughs> is a perfect example. They show up there, right? The girl doesn't know who it is. 
I can explain that right now in 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the management changed over. Yeah. You know me. I taught two weeks ago before you started. No. And can't we just take the class? Like, this is not an epic thing. But you yeah. have someone like Mika who is immediately in your face. Yeah. Like, again, I'm not justifying Michael, but when you don't have the chance to say what you just said and you immediately have someone that's, like, judgmental, mm-hmm. angry, this is a waste of my time. Like, I can only imagine how she responds because I already think he's a little, he's a different person off camera. Like, their conversations yeah, off ex- camera a, right, right, right. for mm-hmm. both of them yes. are completely different. Even how they came about talking about that. They had a conversation <sighs> off camera first, and then he yeah. was like, well, we are both under the, uh, we we are both at an understanding of what uh, transpired last night. Yeah. <laughs> no, just say, like it, there's some miscommunication. Yeah. I like just maybe a little this bit. Was a he bad gets very match. calculated yeah. when he's on really camera, bad match. right? He gets very calculated. So and absolutely, but she needs to work on some things. But she if, does. If someone came to you and res- and responded the way that she did, you wouldn't really give a damn about telling the truth either, or yeah. even explaining yourself. I understand, but. We don't have cameras at the yoga. Like right. that's yeah, the I place know. where we needed to see. We need to be a fly. That's the, the we need to see the come lie. On, lifetime. That's but he admitted the to point. It. The point that it happened. You need to see how he resolves that, right? Because there were no cameras. Right. He doesn't have mm-hmm. to be scripted and weird or anything. Right. It's a very simple. Oh yeah, I. I substitute teach or whatever. Blah blah blah. But also, let's just rewind in general. Why lie about that to begin because with? Why not this... say off the bat to even Dr. Pepper, yeah, I'm a I substitute te- or I'm a I'm an adjunct teacher, I <laughs> mm. take yoga, whatever. These are weird lies for I'm, no reason. I'm not going to again justify. Please let that be clear to everybody listening. She's doing it. Okay. Um, She's gonna do it. But all of these things you have to realize exactly. Mm-hmm. All of these things you have to realize. Yes, they're small lies, but all of these things that he's lying about is building his character. So this is who this is who he's building himself to be because mm-hmm. kind of like he said when when I'm adopted I put forth whatever I need to put forth okay. to survive I kind of had that issue growing up where I rightfully like I was proud to call myself a chameleon so you can change in the presence of whomever you're around to meet that person I'm I'm in cells all day like Whoever I'm in front of, I can I can relate to. Yes. Hmm. I feel like that's kind of a defense mechanism. And I feel like Michael has that a little bit. Sometimes, not saying I go around like lying or whatever. It's just I pull back examples of parts of my life that I know that would entertain you to keep you engaged. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Michael is doing that in a sense of he's trying to build his character. So, yes, they're mm-hmm. small, uninteresting lies. But they're lies to build who he thinks he wants to be in life. And if people don't like that or people can't really get to who he really is, he's afraid of that rejection. So mm-hmm. yes, they're mm-hmm. small to us, mm-hmm. but they're huge to him because it's building who he is. It's a great point. So Yeah. I no, it's really true. I think I think it's gonna be really telling next episode. Hundred percent. Because yeah. after he's had if he's had some kind of, you know, realization moment today, yeah. he really can't expect stuff from her when she knows she can't trust I don't know, 25% yeah. of the things he's saying? Yeah. Right? More than 25%. And I understand the defense mechanism type stuff, but it's definitely, I think the onus goes back to him saying, like, I haven't been, how can I expect her to be vulnerable and put forth all this effort when she knows I'm not telling the truth, and I know I'm not telling yeah. the truth about this stuff, about stuff that, you know, is she judgy and things like that? Maybe. I'm going to say it's 50-50. I, okay. can't put, I can't put all that really? on Really? You think it's 50-50? I it is. It is not. Lenny Shabbat, definitely... please okay. back me up. Because I, I refuse. it started with him in Panama. No, I refuse no. to put this all on him. Yeah, because Mika was already kind of judgy from the get-go. Mm-hmm. She was kind of already picking at him little mm-hmm. by little. It's just now we're seeing her being more feisty with it. Yeah. Now, in certain areas, like I said, that one scene when, uh, they, when he was actually talking about the lie and everything, I was like, okay, now's the time where she could be yelling at him, angry and yelling at him. But it feels like she's yelling at him all the time. And then he's like trying to get up and walk away from it because I know that some people do Mm -hmm. that like to stay calm. She won't even let him do that. So he's supposed to just sit there and let you talk at him and then he's trying to tell you how he wants you to treat him and then you're just 
cutting him off and still yelling at him? They're obviously they're obviously they're a bad a match. match. They're, they're a ter- not. It's terrible. They're I still I still I don't know. You she, guys, let us know what you think. Yeah. I put it more on him. I don't know. There's a terrible yeah. match anyway. I see on both. <laughs> I see J Brooks zero seven said Mike is a liar. I knew he was a liar from day one. I tell yeah. the truth. I tell the truth. <laughs> I know, I thought he was talking about you. I was like, damn. No, no, no. Ah, yikes. Michael and, uh, from Mika. <laughs> Maybe anyway. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. That was a long one. Let's, no, let's but, they, but they were honestly the most interesting, <laughs> yeah. probably, of this entire show, so, yeah. or this episode, yeah. so it's worth talking about. Okay. Of course, finally, is Taylor and Brandon. <laughs> yeah, the you star know. couple. Oh, <laughs> my God. They don't go to the cooking class. Because they're lame. <laughs> they're done. And the whole group obviously <laughs> talks about how could you not talk about it? And it comes out that Mika and Michael talk to them separately. Okay, L- look. Let's dive in. <laughs> Let's dive in. They talk to Dr. Pepper, obviously. And at the end of Dr. Pepper, Brandon says, I'm out and I'm done. And Okay, fine. Cool. Deuces. Bye. Good. Let's talk about the main meat of this. The whole meat of this whole thing is the Instagram post, the Instagram video that Taylor did. Okay. Again... Maybe we're going to have another disagreement about this. I am on Taylor's side. My thing is, was that video inappropriate and hurtful? Yep, absolutely. She finally admitted this episode that it was done out of anger. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, she did not admit it to Dr. Pepper nor Brandon. To her, okay. to her friend, right? Okay. Yeah. At, at least we heard her say it out loud. I just at least, to, yeah. Okay. okay. 100%. Basically, we was right. <laughs> yes, yeah. but at least she said it out loud, so affirmed what we thought. Okay, My right. whole thing is, this guy has been terrible from the jump. From the and jump. I think Taylor finally said, I'm not going to be in this. Despite what she tells Dr. Pepper that she's still there and blah blah, I think she finally said, you know what? Forget this nonsense. Yeah, if mm-hmm. you to your spouse who you've known for five days or whatever told you to F off and everybody to F off and just this out of control behavior, right. Yeah. So I think she just said, you know what? I'm fed up and I'm going to post this and I think it's going to be funny and I'm doing something to lift myself up. Yeah. The way he's acting now to me is nuts. Ooh. This whole very holier than thou, <sighs> uh, very okay. victimish role. That's what I think of the whole thing. La Nisha. So mm. a bunch of people in the comments were actually talking about more than just the video. They had a problem with the dinner. So uh, Sai, uh. Uh, Sai who, who says Taylor sat See at yous. dinner. See who's. Sat, See said, who's. Taylor sat at dinner constantly looking at her Apple Watch with her uh, earbuds. Then she pulled out her phone, too. I was wondering if she had someone listening in on their dinner. They are both oh. wrong. Was this the dinner that she made for him? Yeah. Yes. So everybody was talking about mm. that was also a problem, how they could see how she wasn't really paying attention to the dinner. She mainly made yeah. that nice dinner for Instagram and for taking photos. And, and all. Yeah. Oh, and we have a caller, I think, guys. To, to oh. bring they, them in. They, they just dropped out, so I okay. don't know where they... they we'll they, get them back. We'll um, get them back. <laughs> but but yeah yeah. Anybody else say anything about Team well, Brandon and Team Taylor? Mo- most of them were talking about because they were trying to bring up the phone call. So gotcha. A majority of them was all talking saying the same thing. See, I, what uh, do you think though? Gosh, I'm fifty fifty. The same like Mika oh, and no yeah. I I honestly think they were both wrong. Now oh. I understand. At first I was with Taylor. I was I was with Taylor at first, okay? Because Brandon was acting a fool. <sighs> but with that meeting with Pastor Cal at that time, if you knew you didn't want it to work, you should have said bye then. You should have said bye. And uh, even with Dr. Pepper, who should have said bye? Taylor. I think she Taylor was. Taylor should have said bye. I think she even was... with Dr. Pepper, she was even saying, "I still want this to work." Really? Because you're not acting like you want it to work. You're out here saying that you're single and you're not sorry about it and you still don't want to apologize I think with about Pastor it. Cal, she was still somewhat willing to give it a shot. Yeah, Definitely Dr. Too. Pepper no more. Yeah, I do too. I think um, my gut just does not uh, feel like Taylor is everything that she claims to be. A and, lot of people and, hiding um, stuff this season. A huh? lot of people hiding stuff. The whole like thing that came up with her hanging out late at night, and I know we have a, a call before we rate the couples, but I'm I'm so done with her because obviously she didn't admit it until later on in the episode. But one thing that stuck uh, that stood out to me was. Um, uh, her like being late night, late night at bars. She's blocking him on social media. Um, I just feel like if she were really into it, those things just wouldn't wouldn't be playing out. I my gut just tells me we yeah. can't really trust but her. But that's at the end of it. Who is on the line with us, Jonathan? <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, we have a caller on the line. Tell us who you are, and where you're calling from. Hey, how you how y'all doing? This is uh, Hollywood. Yeah. 
<laughs> What's up, man? How you been? I've been good. I've been good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Which couple you want to go off on here? <laughs> well, I just want to talk about uh, Brandon and Tella. Yeah. Ugh. Let's do it. Go ahead. What's what's your Go take? Who, whose I, side I, are you on? I'll stay on it. Honestly, this is is weird to say. I'm kind of. I appreciate what Brandon did tonight. Oh, in what really? sense? In what sense? I, th- I think Keller was out after the honeymoon, and she didn't want to just jump off the show. I don't know why or whatever. Ooh. Maybe it's pressure from production or what have you. Hmm. But Brandon knew it, w- it was done, and the fact that he went ahead and, and jumped off, I gotta respect it. Oh. And he didn't cuss production out this time. <laughs> he just he was <laughs> is, the is line. that the bar that we're rating them against? That's wow. what the bar I'm rating Brandon. <laughs> he didn't at. verbally assault the production staff <laughs> yeah. for the show he signed up for. Wow. Hollywood, <laughs> do you think? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying that if somebody doesn't want to be on the show, I'm I'm sure it's been plenty of people. In, on the show that didn't want to be on the show after a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That were kind of maybe scared to get off. But the fact that he stood his ground, you know, Dr. Pepper was going at him hard. He was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you and, think... And um... this is not me. No, go ahead. Sorry. I'll I'm let you finish. No, no, I was just going to say, this is not me sticking up for Brandon because I think uh, Teller was, you know, definitely right. I would have been out after, you know, the, the F you. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. But, you know, when you curse, like, when you like, F you, tell her. I think she was out all the way from there. Yeah. Right. And she was just th- she was just sticking on the show just to be on the show. Well, maybe not just to be on the show, but, you know, I mean. No, I agree. Play it out. Play, play it out. Well, she's mm-hmm. trying to build the Instagram, like, and she's <laughs> yeah. like, it's not working anyway. I might as well stay on the show and look early, I guess. Okay. Why, why not? Yeah. Might as well say I'm single for he the world. He treated her like crap. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, come yeah. on. I think that's a, he's using this as his way out. But uh, uh, Hollywood, do you think Taylor is who she's portraying on camera? That's hard to say because I'm not gonna lie. Some of her uh, facial expressions, even when he was apologizing, like in previous episodes, she was kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. Hmm. Yeah. And I think it was just because she was already out. She was like, no, I'm not doing yeah. this dude for, on the long term. So. There you go. It's hard. It's hard to say. Yeah. I don't know. She seems like yeah. a nice girl, but I think she's just sticking on. She's a. I'm gonna grab me a couple more Instagram followers and, and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. I mean, go for it. But brings up some good points. I, I, yeah. I still, I, I'm still completely on her side. Just so, for you guys, for the people who commented about the food, there's a perfect example for this guy who's been really crappy to her the whole time to mm-hmm. be like cool, you're really into Instagram, Like, let's take some funny pictures of the food or something and like jump in and try something. I, I just feel like he's made no effort. He's mm-hmm. been a jerk and flying mm-hmm. off the handle for no reason. If she is three quarters or half of what she represents, she's beautiful, successful, seems really fun, and seems to me, I don't know, maybe I'm naive, but it seemed to me like from the beginning of the show, she was in it. For the right reasons. Yeah, you're a little naive. Before we let you go, <laughs> before we let you go, uh, Ollie, what? How would you rate these couples? We're going to our set of uh, the uh, Brandon and Taylor. Uh, what? Can, can you go below a zero? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On AfterBuzz, you can. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not a negative ten. A who's negative ten? Okay. Wait, wait. Be- before you hang up, who's your favorite couple? Uh, I mean, it's. Like everybody else, that's kind of awesome. I mean, they, yeah. they, they're doing a thing. Yep. They're doing a thing. <laughs> oh, but probably, honestly, my favorite couple is probably Brandon and Taylor. Just uh, For the drama. Entertainment-wise. Yeah. <laughs> for the lows. <laughs> Dude, it's you. so good to talk to you again, man. Thank you so much for calling us. <laughs> All right. Y'all be good. Yeah. Yes. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> so amazing. All right. Thank you so much. That's we love it when you guys yes. call in. We're going to put the number up again for next week. And we'll put it, uh, we'll try to put it in one of the comments or something in the YouTube so yeah. people can see and, and know times. a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Jonathan, can we have our amazing Rate the Couple yeah. music the and couple. the amazing graphic that you made? There it is. Oh. Look at the clusters. Look at the heart clusters. Cl- there I, they are. I thought you were going to say cluster F. Nope. Like, I was like, whoa. That's the second page. That's right. the second page. All we right. start, of course, with what has flatlined in romance heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica and Austin, Lanisha. Oh, of course, 10. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs>
I want someone slapping my butt like them. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. You gotta be on Team Married for that. Hell no. No, I'm just kidding. You don't want to be you Team don't. Married to slap you don't. a butt. You don't. <laughs> you don't. At all. Get consent. I'm going to give, consent. Uh, yes, consent please. <laughs> 10. Easy 10. Justin They're Harris. an easy 10. Katie and Derek. Uh, I'm gonna give them a 6. Oh my god. Oh, I still feel six? bad because I still feel something about Katie. Like I feel yeah. feel this energy that's about to happen. I don't know. Yeah. He picked her up like fireman carry and he tossed her in the great. bed. Derek is great. She Katie, loved it. I'm feeling a little off about her. TK. She her heart is not hundred percent there, so I'm going to say a seven point seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. Specific. Yeah. You know my wife likes the double numbers. Yeah, you did I that know. just for Raquel. Just for Raquel. <laughs> I'm gonna give them. Uh, I want to give them a nine, but now you guys are making. I can give them an eight. I, I give knew them an you eight. were gonna give them an eight. Give them an eight. eight. All right. <laughs> Keep it moving to Mindy and Zach. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, name. sorry, sorry, Taylor and Brandon. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor and Brandon. I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Hollywood on this one. A negative ten. I'm gonna. Go Jonathan has to remake the chart. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little negative heart there. Um, I'm going to go with yeah, a negative seven point seven. Wow. Yeah. All right. Now you're being extra with it. Yeah. I will Negative seven. I will remain within the bounds of the game and give them a zero. <laughs> okay. M and M. We're just racking up the hitters uh, here. Yeah. Lanisha's favorite couple, star couple from the beginning. Bound for true love. Where are they now? Zero. Zero. Yeah. TK? Zero. I give them a zero as well. And Mindy and Zach. Oh. Well, they did better than Taylor and Brandon, they so I'll did. give them a zero, a negative zero. No, negative two. I was about to say negative okay. zero, too. You make them worse than Mika and Michael? Yeah. Wow. No, 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 she did no, better. Yeah, she I did. did. You have Mika and Michael zero. And no, then I did she Mindy and Zach negative. And she gave That's them worse. a negative. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> confused. Um, I, I know you're going to rate them high because you're going to give Zach kudos. So I'm going to say a or two. I can't affect your rating. I'm going to say two. Oh, no, you're not. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I was I know. saying what is this? <laughs> I got you're my trying to bring the average down? I, pre I got my prediction. Um, I'm going to give them a one. Okay, I am going to, I was actually, I, honestly, no, no, I was going to give them a two. I'm going to give them a two. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. very optimistic, wow. but I got to give them something. They're definitely better than the other okay, ones. Okay, they're trying. So, yeah, they, they're I making mean, they, an effort. I mean, they got intimate for crying Two out loud. is like friendship. They kind of, but he, no. they weren't really looking at each other. <laughs> and awkward. they touched like you just met somebody with butterflies. It's awkward. Coronavirus. Let us know. <laughs> wow. Let us know in the comments what you guys rate these shenanigans. And let us know. Let us know. Okay. TK said she had a prediction. Jonathan, can we have the prediction music, please? No, no. I had a prediction on your, on your, on oh, your Too score. bad. Now you have to make a prediction oh, on the show. Oh, oh, oh. I do. Wow. Prediction. Here we go. Zach is talking to, I don't remember her name, Asian mm. girl, beautiful mm. hair, the friend. Uh, Unfair because that was my call. It was. We watched the put episode. Me on the spot. <laughs> yes. That is. Yeah. Lanisha? Uh, I Man, feel so that, bad. So unfair, that's the one. I feel terrible. We can't remember her name. I pegged her as soon as they all got together and played the giant Jenga. I was like, that girl's cute. That is what Zach expected to be down mm. the aisle. And now he's talking to what? How could you do that? Wow. Man. Well, clearly he found something out about Mindy. Yeah, what so is that? What do I'm you think that think is? What is the right. secret? I think it has something to do with her family. I think 100% he's just trying to toss something out there to put her on the spot because he knows he's about to be found out. So anyway. You got a prediction about any prediction. other couples, mm -hmm. Anisha? Uh, no, that's all my predictions as far as with them. But I do want to say to you guys. Get some more Team shout outs singles. going. We yes. love you. I'm going to shout out Team Singles. So Serena is the name. Tanisha Coleman. Rebecca Sarah Coffey. Cliff Washington. Uh, Rachel Heller. Uh, Jonelle. Jonelle J and Cassandra, team single, hashtag. And TK, team found the right one. Team <laughs> found the right one. Team <laughs> married. I have D Shack, Antonio Howell, Ariel Jordan, Yolanda loves Mr. T. Hello to shout out to the spouse on YouTube. Um, maybe. Uh, Paula Giordan, Ronnie Richmond, and Anna 
Arthur, we are tied seven and seven. That's so amazing, we have guys. to break the, the tie. So Let's keep wrap. it coming. Keep on coming the, the hashtag. Hashtag keep Team Single. Hashtag hashtags team out. Married. Represent your team until next time. Yes. Where can the team find you, Lanisha? You guys already know. You guys oh, can follow me this on is Instagram the best part of and Twitter at Lanisha spelled L-A-N-I-S-H-A 914. And then follow my IG live because we're going to still be doing those call-ins. Yes, yes, you can find me, Takira Shabray. Sure. Underscore, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> at Takira underscore Shabray on YouTube, uh, on IG, Twitter, all that good stuff. All the things. Yeah. Guys, again, our extended panel, you guys out there, we love you so much. Thank you so much for the comments and everything. Call in next time. We miss the live interaction with you guys. We love you. My name is Mike Feeling. You can follow me at Mike Feeling. Go play sexy Jenga. Yeah. Jenga. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.